I'm not really into podcasts um, too much either, but the last one that I probably listened to was uh, Gary Neville's one with Tyson Fury. Um, I'm a big fan of Tyson Fury, so it was interesting for me. So, um, yeah, that'd be it. That'd be the last one. Winning the league for the first time, maybe, um, or even just signing a professional contract. Um, there was a lot of time where I didn't think it was going to happen for me. So, um, that was obviously, I'd tell you, the biggest achievement was, uh, was turning pro. Favourite player to watch right now would be probably Mo Salah. Obviously, I'm a Liverpool fan, so I think um, he's probably in the form of his life at the moment, so he's uh, he's quite good to watch. Steven Gerrard, easy one for me. Um, he's probably the one player I kind of looked up to the most as a, as a young lad, even though I didn't play in the same position or anything like that. I just, I was just always, you know, I was always a big fan of him when obviously he was captain of Liverpool. So he was, um, I'd say, easy Steven Gerrard. I like comedy. I like, I do like comedy, I have to say. I like comedy films and stuff like that. I'm a big fan of like Will Ferrell films and um, stuff like that. So um, definitely comedy films is, is, is high on my list. Do you know what? As a footballer, you don't really live a lavish lifestyle. <laughs> I have to say, you're going to just go training and you come home and whatever, like because you, you spend so much time there. But um, I like to just really simple things, you know, get out and get out and about, um, head off for a weekend somewhere, or, um, take a trip away somewhere. But that would really be it. it wouldn't be anything special, to be honest. Be Tyson Fury, be one of them. Um, Will Ferrell and I'll go with The Rock I'll go with The Rock yeah it's a bit of a weird, bit of a weird tree but a good conversation I'd say between them do you know what I watched um, re-watched Harry Potter over Christmas The Deadly Hallows Part 2 was the last one we watched yeah it's a uh, I wasn't mad into the Harry Potters until, like, I'd never watched them. I'd say I'd known the hype and stuff like that, but I've never watched them. But now, whenever they're on, I can't, I can't turn them off. It's, a, it's an addiction, I have to say. Um, yeah, I loved them. I have to say, I loved them. I was sad to see them in. I do like to play golf. I would. I haven't, I haven't got out as much, but um, I'd like to play golf and just go out for coffee or whatever, and you know, meet up with friends and stuff like that. Be kind of simple, simple pleasures. Pretty straightforward. You know, get up and obviously have some, have your breakfast and get out and get out and go for a walk, stretch the legs, maybe do a bit of stretching or whatever. And in the afternoon, then have your pre match and head to the stadium. And we're always in, we're always in early enough on a match day, so plenty of time to get to the stadium and um, do what you need to do. But it's pretty very boring, very simple. And if anyone has an exciting match day preparation, you know they're doing they're doing well. I sang uh, Babylon by David Gray. Yeah. Simple. Nice and slow. Don't put yourself under too much pressure. And just, just go with it. That's what that's all, yeah. That's my karaoke song. I don't sing I don't have to sing it that much, but that's my initiation song, definitely. Do you know what? When I was in Paris, I tried a bit of a you know, a bit of snail and a bit of frog and stuff like that. So uh just a tiny bit, and then not not for me. That'd be it. That'd be it. There, like how it's how it's on the menu. I do not know. 